What's up everybody, Tree City Wes here. Lately I've been getting a lot of questions on Zenblox about how to set up the vast AI miners because they require a specific SSH public key private key configuration. Setting up the public private key for your SSH connection is a great way to easily log on to your instance without the need for a username and password. And it's something that's required over at Vast AI, which seems to have the best prices for the GPU miners. So let's dive into how to set up the public key private key pair so we can use it with the Vast AI GPU rental for our Zenblox miner. So over on my GitHub at Tree City West, I created this Bast SSH key pair document. It's a quick guide on how to create the key pair and how to input the public key into your Vast AI account so you can easily connect to your instance using the matched private key. Let's go ahead and walk through this step by step. The first step is to install the Windows subsystem for Linux. This basically installs a Linux virtual machine on your Windows desktop, or you can do this directly in Linux. So to start WSL, you start your command prompt or your PowerShell window as administrator, and you type in the command WSL dash dash install. Now, as you can see, I already have Ubuntu installed, but this command will go through, create the virtual machine, download Ubuntu, set up the WSL instance, and when it's finished, it'll ask you to reboot your computer. So go ahead and reboot your computer, and let's move on to step two. So after you reboot your computer, go ahead and open up your command prompt to your PowerShell window as administrator again, and to launch the Windows subsystem for Linux, or that Linux virtual machine we just created, type in WSL. You'll see the command prompt change from the Windows C users computer name to the root at computer name. Now we can get back to our script. So in step two, the first step is to open WSL, which we did. Now we're gonna type in CD. And all CD does is basically move you back to the root folder. So the next step is to create the key pair. So when we run the next command, the SSH key gen, it's gonna create the key pair. It's gonna create your public key and your private key. The public key is what you put into the Vast website and the private key is how you authenticate your connection. So to do that, we'll copy and paste the SSH key gen command. And now it's generating the public private RSA key pair. So if you follow along with the bullet points, you'll be asked to save the file. You can just leave it as the default and hit enter. If one already exists, you can create a new one by overwriting it. It'll also ask you if you want to create a passphrase. I like to skip this just for easy use, but it's always good to have a safe passphrase. Just for the sake of time, we'll go and skip it and hit enter. Hit enter again, so our passphrase is blank. And then it creates the private key. So now that that command was successful, we have both our public key and our private key. And what we have to do is allow the WSL subsystem permission to access the private key. So to do that, we run the next bullet point. It's the chmod 400 command, basically allows the system to use that private key. So at this point, we have our public and our private key created. The next step will be to add the public key to the vast.ai vault. So to do that, we'll go ahead and paste this next command. This will allow us to view the public key that we just created. So I'll go ahead and paste the CAT command, and now I can see the public key, including the, the name of my machine. So going down to the next step, you're gonna wanna log into your Vast AI account and click on the account. This will take you to your account settings. Once you're in your account, find the change SSH key SSH public key. This is where you'll paste the public key that was just shown on the screen. So I'm going to go back to the command prompt and I'm simply going to drag my mouse and select everything after SSH dash RSA all the way down to my computer name. I'll go ahead and hit control C to copy. And now I'm going to paste that into the change SSH key inside of vast AI. And then I'll go ahead and set this as my public key. So now you should get a green success, SSH key set successfully. Now we can go back to our guide. And now we just completed this section, add the public key to Vast AI. We viewed the public key, we logged into Vast AI, and we pasted the public key into the public key section. So now I'm gonna go back to Vast AI. I'm gonna take a look at the instances. This 3060 Ti looks good for seven cents an hour. We'll go ahead and rent that. Now we're gonna to go to our instances page and we're gonna make sure the instance spins up successfully. So now you can see my instance started. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the blue connect button. And this is the same command that we're gonna to use to connect from WSL. So I'll go ahead and copy this command and paste it into WSL, but I'm not gonna run it yet. 
The next step is to go back to the guide. And now we have to add the path of the private key to the SSH command so it can locate our private key and authenticate us with the server. So to do that, we add the I command with the path to the private key that we just created. So I pasted that in there. I'm gonna hit home to go back to the end. I'll paste this in here, or you can just simply type it in. So it should say SSH dash I with the path to my private key, and then the rest of the vast AI connection screen. So if I look at them side by side, vast says to connect to SSH dash P, and then the connection information, I simply added SSH dash I dash P, and then the rest of the connection information. Another easy way to do this is to just type in SSH, come over to the guide, paste the dash I with the private key information, and then grab everything after the dash P and just paste it in here. You'll need to make sure you have a space between the private key and the rest of the connection string, but let's go ahead and execute it and see what happens. So it's asking us, are you sure you want to continue connecting? Do you know what you're connecting to? So I'm going to type yes, because I know it's my vast AI instance and boom. Now I'm in there. I did not type in a password. I did not type in a username. It used the public private key that I created, pasted the public key into vast, and now I can easily connect without needing it. Another quick tip, if you're using vast and you're planning to run tmux, you're going to have to run this command touch note auto tmux. Uh, they like to use tmux as well. So if you type in this touch no auto tmux command, type exit, restart your session. Now it doesn't start tmux. You notice there's no green bar at the bottom. We're able to get right into our session and create our own tmux instance. So that's all I have today. We're going to keep it short and sweet, but that is how you can create your SSH key pair to log into your vast AI GPU. And then you can set up your Zen blocks miner and start mining blocks. Now that you know how to use the key pair, if you plan to use vast AI, they seem to have the most competitive prices for the cloud GPU rentals. So I'm going to put my referral link down in the bottom. If you use that to sign up for vast, we'll both get some bonus and then also head over to GitHub. I'll put a link to the GitHub where you can follow the step-by-step -step guide to create your public private key pair within WSL. So as always, thank you for watching. Make sure you head over to hashhead.io. Buy me a coffee if you're so inclined. Let me know if you have any questions about ZenBlocks. We're also now a partner on YouTube, and uh, we have some added perks for the Hashhead members over on YouTube. Hope you guys check it out. Again, thank you for watching. Tree City Wes is out. Hope you stay zen. Thank you.